Hey, my dearest friends. So I am here sharing my experiences of Narmada Parikma, and uh, people have asked me that please share some of the miraculous stories, some of the amazing stories. So here is one of them, which I have heard from someone as I was walking. I reached one village and. There, a man stopped me and he said that, Please, Swamiji, stay here and I will cook for you fresh food. I will make fresh chapati and dal. So, he said with so much love, I said, Okay, I will wait. So, he made the food with so much love and when I was eating, I asked him, You cook this food with so much love. What is the reason? Why you are serving? So he said something very amazing. Very beautiful story. Listen it very carefully. Many years back, he was... He's having his home like two kilometers far from that place. And... He was having like 40 acres of land and there he had four wells and uh, but always it was a problem whenever the rains were finished the well were like having no water so he always faced problem when the rains are over how to irrigate how to water the plants the crops so he many times like called those people who were knowing how to see the water level but unfortunately all were like failure none of them was able to really see correctly the water level so once it happened like when his wife was fresh pressing him so much his children were saying like please do something otherwise our earning is so low because we are not able to have anything from our field in the uh, like uh, hot weather when there is no rain or in the winter so we are running out of water so he again called some more people who were able to see the water under the earth and he invested a lot of money in it and he did like a well, the fifth well, for 50 feet, nothing. Again, the people were like teasing him, what is happening, you have no water. So he did 60 feet. He asked, he borrowed the money, he did his all his best, nothing, nothing. And now the children were unhappy with him his wife was unhappy with him nothing he could do so he borrowed some more money and he thought okay this is the last chance he put again he dig the well you know it take, takes it takes a lot of money to dig a well in India and he did 10 feet more and it was now almost 70 feet but nothing happened and he was so depressed that he thought one day okay I will jump into the Narmada I cannot do anything the villagers are laughing at me that he is digging and digging and nothing is happening no water the children the wife they all are upset what is this life one day he went to Narmada and telling to mother Narmada river that I could not do anything and I am now offering myself I am jumping into it and he jumped he jumped with his clothes his shoes he jumped into the Narmada river and when he jumped he went down first and when the flow when he come the body comes up he felt that somebody is holding his hand and he saw some sadhu some saint and he was pulling him outside the river. He said, 
you have not finished your well there is no water in it you have to complete that work so he thought how this sadhu is knowing he asked him so the sadhu said let's first finish that work so he said but i did everything he said the sadhu said the saint said do one thing bring some leaves the leaves of bigger tree so he brought like bigger leaves and he said make a kind of a bowl so he made a bowl of the, those leaves the sadhu took the water from narmada and he told this man start chanting narmade har narmade har narmade har and till the time you reach your well keep repeating and then put this bowl of leaves with the water into the well so it happened like uh, he was having the bowl of water in his hand and as he was walking as he was going towards his well he was mentally chanting narmade har narmade har narmade har and as he reached the well he put the bowl inside the well and the miracle happened within few hours the well was full of water and it started overflowing and it started overflowing and it reached to the village the villagers came they saw the miracle and it was really like wow how it can happen there was no water for years and this farmers were struggling and now suddenly so much water so his family also came and they were all so happy so when he was putting this uh, uh bowl into the into the well he was having this thought that okay if narmada fulfills my wish i am going to serve whosoever is going to come on the bank of narmada and i will make the food with my own hand and and really it happened and that's the reason he was cooking for everyone whosoever was coming there he was cooking for all and serving all and friends i can say there are so many such miracles so many people i have seen while doing parikrama they have all amazing experiences and this is how they are serving those who are coming to do parikrama and not only i can say there are so many subtle beings also divine beings who are just walking around in the subtle realms you can't see them from this eyes but they are there like this saint he came and pulled this man out he could not see him again but it was a presence it was really the saint this miraculous healing miraculous power of narmada just brought this man from the river and blessed him so that's that's the power of love that's the power of mother that's why so many people are doing narmada parikrama it is really really amazing jai ma jai ma jai ma